it's Danielle here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tracer to trace your art onto your canvas before you paint it. The first thing that you're going to need is your canvas. You're going to have to print out your tracer. So whether it's this or any other image, print out your tracer. And you need a pencil and graphite paper. So this graphite paper, you can use several times. You don't have to only just use it one time. <clears throat> and what you're gonna do is you're going to set your graphite paper down onto your canvas. I usually will tape it on so that I don't move it too much. And this is just washi tape, but you can use whatever tape that you have. And I'm just gonna go to the edge with it so that I know where that I'm covering it all. So you see I just taped it on there. And make sure you don't rub a lot because if you rub a lot, you're gonna get your graphite pencil markings onto here just by rubbing it. And if you have a really light painting, you don't want all those marks on there. And I'm gonna just tape this side down, just like this. So tape, tape, tape. When you're looking at your graphite paper, there's a side that looks kind of fuzzy and a little bit white. That should be the side that's out. The darker side has the graphite, so that's the sharp, the side that should be down. So make sure that you do that. Now I'm gonna take my tracer, and I, mine is traced at eight by 10. I'm going to try to line it up as best I can. And just so that I don't move it a bunch of times, I'm also going to tape it too. So I'm gonna get a little bit of tape and I'm gonna try to line it up a bit using the canvas. And I'm gonna tape it down too. I drew the canvas lines, but you don't have to do that. You can just try to line it up. And I'm going to tape it on this side too. And I'm going to leave one side open. <clears throat> and the reason that is for me is that sometimes I get tracing and then I forget what I traced. So I could just go like this and I could take a little peek under here and see if I missed anything. So you have your canvas, your graphite paper with the black side down, and then your tracer on top. And then you're just going to trace. When you go through each line, <clears throat> if you press hard enough, you don't have to press too hard, it's going to show the image onto your canvas. So here I'm gonna start, I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm just gonna start with the sun. And all I'm doing is just drawing over. If you want these perfect, you can use a ruler, but I don't really care if my paintings are perfect, they're just for fun. So if you do not have graphite paper, you can take your image, print it out. When you print it out, you're going to cut it into pieces and then trace those pieces. I'm just going to show you real quick what this, how this is coming out so you can see. I'm going to just show you what it looks like. So there's the little part that I just did. Have this ready before our paint party starts because if you don't, then we're going to spend a lot of time trying to trace onto your canvas. So we want to just get straight into the paint party and have some fun painting. And so before our paint party, you need to do this uh, tracer. And here is how it looks if you print out your tracer, like so, and you cut it into several pieces so that you can trace each piece. And this is if you don't have any graphite paper. And you'll see each piece 
when I did it, I started with my whole owl and I did the outline of the owl and then I cut out this part and put it here and I just traced it onto the canvas like this. So don't worry if you don't have graphite paper, just cut yours out little by little and trace each one of those pieces. So either way will work. You can do either one is just fine. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to do it. Um, have this ready before our paint party starts. See you later. Goodbye.